Hi, it's Wednesday and guess what? I'm back. So we're going to take some letters and they kept on coming in, which thank you so much. But first of all, please, I want to thank you so much for all the good thoughts and the prayers and the white light. I think without all of that from all of you, this outcome, uh, outcome could have been a whole lot worse. So I'm very grateful for all of that and you have no idea how much I appreciate it. Okay, first question. This lady has questions about portals. Can any place in a house or a property, garden, pond, woods contain a portal? I have only found portals in structures. I have found them in mirrors. I have never found a portal on a ground, out in water. I'm not saying that they can't be, but I personally have never found them. Just like any time I find them in a house, they are on an inside wall, never an outside wall. Does a portal have to be made by a living, living human being or can an entity make a portal? Absolutely, an entity cannot make a portal. A portal is blown open by live people, not dead people, but it has to be something that was really, really negative to blow that portal open. Is a portal made of negative energy? Yes. Dark magic? No. Um, if we can't close the portal and you tell us that saging it would keep it lethargic, how about use of incense, cone, or sage in a holder or near the spot? Keep it burning around the clock. You know, I don't know about the insects. I just know that saging absolutely does work. And again, if you sage right where the portal is, if that's where I talked to you and told you it was, that will stop any entity from coming out. Can a human being walk into a portal to see where it leads and can they get out again? No, no. A portal is only for entities that do not have a body. A human being cannot walk into a portal. A living, human, full-bodied person cannot walk into a portal. Uh, if a house has a portal and the house is demolished, is the portal dis dem uh, demolished too? Or does that still live on? No, if the house is gone, the portal is gone. It doesn't transfer to anybody and it just, it just disappears. And I'm sure over the years that a lot of houses have lost, uh, that had portals, were, you know, stopped because of the house or the property burning down, demolished, or whatever. Now, this is one about quinceeds. Can the protection, can the protection of a quincy charm wear off or run dry? Absolutely not. It will work forever. Even if they explode, implode, pop, crack, they still work 100%. Can the protection of a Quincy charm be loaned to a person? If we are doing a paranormal event together, meaning if I am wearing a charm and keep a spare, can I let the person I am with wear the other charm to be protected and then retrieve it for them at the end of the event? Of course. You can absolutely do that, but keep this in mind too. When you have a charm on you that protects you for three and a half, four feet. So a lot of times just having another person be in your space is probably going to be, you know, will help to protect that person. Um, this is from Kathy. My friend bought some quince seeds online through Amazon. She gave me a pack and said they're just like yours. I'm very hesitant since they come from your fam family in Italy. What do you think? Okay, um, what I think is this. In the fall, when apples and pears come out and a quince is a cross between an apple and pear, you can go to a grocery store, a market, and you can actually buy a quince, crack it open, and obviously there are seeds in it. Those are not my seeds, and you are 100% correct. 
my seeds have energy worked on to them in Italy and then they are sent to me. So no, I'm sorry, but the quince seeds that you get out of a quince your own, on your own or you buy online, they're not mine. So, um, you know, just keep that in mind. And we'll do this again next Wednesday. Um, I didn't think I would actually miss doing this. I, I, after 40 of them, though, I sort of got used to it. And I need to thank Ted so much for filling in for me that one day. He's keeping a really close look on me. I almost had to beg him to let me do this one today. So I promised him it would be short, and it's not as long as some of the other ones. But next Wednesday, it'll be longer. And please, keep the letters coming. I didn't use up any energy reading the letters, so please keep them coming. Thanks, and have a great week.